Who would have imagined we'd see not one, but two huge crypto crashes in one year? First, we had the whole Terra Foundation drama, and now Sam's FTX has also collapsed, causing a frenzy among investors. But did you know there are actually rumors of a polyamorous group behind the collapse of FTX? And why were experts and smart investors unable to see all of the red flags? Keep watching as we share some shocking updates. First up, the Bahamas headquarters. Sam Bankman Fried is facing the heat as he's being investigated in the Bahamas, along with facing multiple regulatory probes in the US as well. The 30 year old is being held responsible for the second biggest crash of this year after costing cryptocurrency investors more than $30 billion. We're not going to lie, it's like the Terra Foundation all over again. But there's a key difference in both these crashes. The Terra Foundation collapsed because of an algorithm. And FTX? Well, rumors are going around that a 10-person polycule is behind the disaster. It couldn't get any more bizarre, right? There's news that a group of 10 individuals, including Sam and CEO of Alameda Research, Caroline Ellison, is responsible for dooming the market all over again. Now, you better hold on to your seats because what we're about to tell you might make your blood boil if you've been affected by the crash. It was the inner circle, the decision makers. Co Founder and Chief Technology Officer Gary Wong and Director of Engineering Nishant Singh also stayed at the doomed headquarters. This 10 person. Polycule ran all operations out of Sam's Bahamas penthouse, where they apparently abused amphetamines and dated each other at the same time. These individuals are all adults and were no one to question their life choices, but the fact that they're juggling billions of dollars of investor money is what makes everything questionable. Or what if someone has lost all their savings because of their shady operations? Next, Coindesk nails the coffin. Popular crypto website Coindesk didn't hold back as it immediately got in touch with current and former employees working for Sam Bankman and the gang. One source told Coindesk that all 10 are, or used to be, paired up in romantic relationships with each other. Another source claimed the 10 of them were so tight that they'd literally do anything for each other. And by anything, they mean secretly transferring 10 billion billion dollars to Alameda Research to pull off risky trades. The truth is, this polycule not only destroyed the market, but lost investors billions of dollars. And credit to Binance for pulling out of the deal after going over the exchange's financials. CZ didn't lay down the specifics, but it's safe to say he was shocked after looking at their sheets. Also, did you know Sam actually created a backdoor with the gang to avoid ticking off compliance alarms while transferring $10 billion to Alameda Research? If that isn't fraud, then we don't know what is. Former FTX employees also told Coindesk the inner circle was nuts since there was very little oversight and conflicts every single day. Or look at it this way, since Gary, Sam, and Nishad controlled the codes, no one would notice if they moved things around. But the only problem would be if either one of them wanted to do something the other didn't like. Get it? That's where all the conflict came from. What seemed like a super organized exchange was just some code run by a gang of kids in the Bahamas. Moving on, romantically entangled. We're just trying to imagine how an arrangement like that would work, to be honest. Uh, let's try to put things into perspective. Both young CEOs of massive enterprises managing billions of dollars. Both are involved in an on and off romantic relationship. And finally, both both involved in a fraud worth billions of dollars. It must be very thrilling, right? And we're gonna keep it real with you guys right now. The signs were there all along. We just didn't pay enough attention. Caroline Ellison, CEO of Alameda Research, actually revealed on Twitter that she had used amphetamines in the past. Nothing like regular amphetamine use to make you appreciate how dumb a lot of normal, non-medicated human experience is. There's even a video of her making rounds 
on the internet where she talks about how stop loss is useless. Wait, what? Stop loss is useless? How did we not see all this? But this is just Caroline we're talking about. In case you haven't heard about the exchange's financial conditions right before the collapse, then prepare to be shocked. What we're about to tell you might just make you not want to invest for a couple of months, because this is even worse than the Luna UST collapse. It's literally deception at this point. But yeah, touching up on the romantic entanglement, it's probably really difficult when there's so much financial sway. And don't get us wrong, there's nothing wrong with polyamory. But power imbalances and workplace conflicts are bound to happen. With 10 people involved with each other, it might have played a major role in the collapse. Following up, the next Warren Buffett. FTX took the crypto world by storm when he first launched it back in 2019. Believe it or not, people started labeling him as the next Warren Buffett, going as far as thinking he'll be the first trillionaire in the world. And we're not gonna lie, it felt like that. He was making waves in the digital realm, amassing a massive fortune of nearly $16 billion at his peak. His platforms received huge investments from players like Sequoia Capital. We're not sure what it was, and if we're being honest, we think half of the time people had no idea what he was talking about. All the attention and articles about the young billionaire just made everyone think he was some sort of genius who would make them a boatload of money. He had this particular vibe to himself. It made rich people want to drain their pockets and throw money at him. But so much for being the next Warren Buffett, right? Sam saw his fortune collapse from a mammoth $16 billion to a measly $3. It's gotten so bad that he had to list his luxurious Bahamas villa for sale at a price tag of $39 million. For any rich person watching this video, you too can get a taste of the polycule by investing $39 million to stay at the headquarters of Doom. But yeah, the signs were always there. Was Sequoia alarmed when Sam used to play video games at board meetings? Nope. It's exactly the laid back attitude they were looking for. Up next, talk about bookkeeping. Right before FTX filed for bankruptcy, Financial Times reported that the exchange only had one or two billion at times in assets against 9 billion in liabilities. That's an imbalance of almost 7 billion dollars. Where did all the money go? Was it used to fuel drug parties in the headquarters of Doom? Or was it transferred to Alameda Research to pull off risky trades? We don't know, but we'll find out as the investigation continues. Oh, and another thing. Did you know 1 to 2 billion dollars in client funds has been wiped out ever since the collapse, and the backdoor channel used to transfer billions of dollars without sounding the alarms, Sam claims the funds weren't secretly transferred, and it was actually an internal labeling issue that caused all the confusion. Okay, but what about the massive hack, leading to investors and clients losing hundreds of millions of dollars worth of digital assets? The Bahamas gang can't just get away with it. All this while, they were clearly unauthorized transactions. There's something fishy going on here, and this might be a little harsh, but even smart people were super dumb about FTX. Just because it was operated by a group of really young Stanford and MIT graduates doesn't mean it's the next big thing on the block, right? Let's see what the gang comes up with now. We're probably going to be seeing another Do Kwon situation with potential jail time on the cards. Last but not least, a cyber hack? or internal rescue. Binance proposed a rescue deal to help FTX get out of the mess, but after taking a look at their balance sheet, the crypto giant immediately pulled out of the deal, claiming the exchange had mishandled user funds. We're not sure about you, but whenever someone says mishandled funds, we always think of stealing. But yeah, after Binance pulled out, FTX was pretty much hopeless and got hit by a cyber hack, resulting in $400 million of stolen funds funds. Pretty strange, right? Ideal timing for $400 million worth of unauthorized transactions to execute. We're not making any claims or allegations, 
but merely pointing out how shady that seems. Sam and the Polycule better prepare for the battle of their life as they're being hit with lawsuits from all over the world. It's estimated that the company has over 1 million credits, which all need to be paid. That's it from our side, folks. So what do you think? Did Sam really have a backdoor channel to pull off risky trades? And did you see any red flags along the way? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.